think there's a lot of different types of snitching, right? <laughs> <laughs> what I do, like you know, because I because the term is used in so many different ways, right? You got like dry snitching, you know what I'm saying? You got like clout chase snitching on you, it's like self snitching, where you snitch it for clout, like you. Oh, I'm showing you how all the stuff I'm doing, think it's not going to turn into snitching. You know, there's like framing. Framing is the worst, right? That's like the government snitching. You um. Know? <laughs> I just think it's getting out of control. Like, uh, but you know what? This is what happens when street terminology is abused, right? And then you try to present it in like regular social and regular society, regular social structures that it don't fit. And then you just have a madness because I'm listening to what people are calling snitching. Today I was on my Instagram live and I was talking to somebody who's like, if somebody tells on you at work, it's not snitching. Like, oh, yes, it is. I'm like, no, it's not, bro. Like, you're fucking up and somebody is telling the truth that you're fucking up. There was a, I think that speaks to Trey Young, right? Trey Young did that, right? Trey Young recorded his, I guess the security guard that it looked like he's going to the stadium or going to practice, wherever he's going. Security guard was asleep. Trey Young took a video camera and said, look at this dude sleeping on the job. I bet you I could walk through these this, the metal detector right now. He's not going to wake up. Look, see? Didn't even wake up. You know what I'm saying? And he posted it on social, and everyone on social was saying he was snitching on this dude. Yeah, but it's a bunch of people who are not street telling another guy who is not street was snitching. And again, like snitching is a real thing that carry real repercussions. You know what I'm saying? Like when it's for real, outside of that, it's just misuse. It's just cultural appropriation. How about that? It's just cultural appropriation. And it's like, I, I think that's a shitty thing for Trey to do because Trey knew he could have got his dude fired. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't call him a snitch because a snitch means a lot of other stuff outside of, you know, <laughs> something silly like that. Yeah. Then there's like Andrew Tate, right? You know, Andrew Tate essentially ended up self-snitching. First of all, you know, you're familiar with Andrew Tate, obviously, right? Very minimal, very minimal. I know so, I know the girls hate him, so that's what I do know about him. Okay, so... Hate him, so. so this guy, um, he apparently had pending charges in at least Romania, possibly other countries, for uh, human trafficking. Uh, he had a business of having different women on webcams in different places. Um, it's alleged that he has abused them. He has forced them to, you know, perform on camera in different ways. Um, and he just recently got back on Twitter with this wave of all the people who were removed from the platform, platform being allowed back under Elon Musk. And he, you know, went at Greta Von, the Greta uh, environmentalist uh, young woman who's 19 and was bragging about all his cars and all the emissions that come from his vehicles, his non, <laughs> his non electric vehicles, right? And he was like, e send me your email so I can show you how much I'm killing the planet, right? And she was like, oh yes, please do. That sounds fascinating. You can email me at uh, smalldickenergy at getalife.com, right? <laughs> it blew up all over the internet. Yeah. Andrew Tate's ego wouldn't let him let it go. So he ends up recording like a, five, 10 minute video talking about, see, you don't even make sense. You're telling me to email you at Small Dick Energy. You're saying you have a small dick, right? And there was a little bit in the video where he's like, oh yes, yes, I'll take my pizza, please. Yes, please give me- Oh, I've seen pizza. that. I've seen it on Instagram with right. a pizza box. And it was like, oh, this pizza box is a specific location, pizza place. And it was like, oh, he's around, let's go get him. And they went and got him. And now he's in custody for 30 days. Now Vice, on January 12th, they have a, uh, a docu-style interview or whatever where he interviewed, where they're interviewing one of the girls, at least one of the girls who's been, you know, allegedly held hostage or that is accusing him of all these things. And so now, and now lawyers are doing videos talking about how he's been self-snitching for a long time. He's been on different podcasts talking about all this stuff, right? And so to me, that is self-snitching, right? There's a crime alleged crime that's taking place. He's talking about how he has all these different passports 
that's how he gets around wherever he needs to be because like, okay, I just use a different passport. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't call it. I mean, I like I like the modern term of self snitching, but that's pretty much just incriminating yourself. See, snitching is 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 a shameful thing. If you tell on yourself, that really is just you just an idiot. Mm. You know what I mean? Um you what's crazy, Jay, really the root of snitching. So the street life is rooted in accountability, like masculinity. Nothing's more important in masculinity than accountability. Mm. So true snitching is about two criminals who commit crimes. And when one person goes to jail, he wants to tell the police on someone else's crime to not be accountable for his specific crime. So that's really the, the genesis of snitching. You know, it's really a criminal term. So it, it, what you saying about Andrew Tate, he just told on himself, it's just a jackass. Nobody's going to look at him crazy within the life of that community that we just would laugh at him. Like, he told on himself, that nigga tripped out. But um, a lot of times it's getting loose with just generally telling on people because, you know, in our communities, you say that to kids, oh, don't be a snitch, but it don't really mean what they think it is. Mm. Um, it's really rooted for people who subscribe to some sense of crime in life. I mean, like they into a criminal lifestyle. So it, when it's a snitch, it, it it requires you either to be committed to the life of crime or it requires, um, well, you have to be committed to some sense of life of crime or you have to be in commission of a crime and trying to avoid your own, you know, shit. So now Young Thug's case, they're doing jury selection now. It starts, I believe it starts at the top of next week, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. you know. And leading up to this, we've seen a lot of people who have been a, a part of this RICO case. Young Thug has a, I think it was like 28 people. Yeah, that, it's a lot. That the, it's the state of Georgia, right? It's the state or the city? I can't think of which one. It's just, it gotta be the state, right? Yeah. And so a lot of these guys have been taking Alfred pleas where they've been pleading guilty and you know getting out getting out of jail now sorry nigga i <laughs> sorry nigga so <laughs> sorry, and, and, i gotta come home <laughs> sorry nigga i gotta come home that's funny. sorry nigga i'm trying funny. to come home. <laughs> push is funny for that shit push it for real right but it's like so in that particular thing right when you cop a plea that's not abnormal in criminal cases most of the time the state has pretty good evidence, so people cop pleas. Whether you did it or not, the evidence is pointing your way. Hmm. Um, and I've been in that situation where I had to take a plea, right? But you usually are forced to admit your wrongdoing, your personal wrongdoing when you cop a plea on a good case. You admit to what you did wrong. This is weird because in this particular case, like gonna be in the first one, I have never seen personally where someone said, I didn't do anything. Those guys did everything. That's not like in the streets, that's not really what you think of when you think of a plea. A plea is not, oh, you know, this person did this, let me go home. You know, when they were asking questions, when he was allocuting, you know, for take, you know, when it came to taking a plea, you have to allocate, you have to, a lot of times they make you admit roles in crime. Like you've seen Law and Order, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, with Ice-T, SVU, they be like, you need to allocate, you need to tell everybody what you did. It's very rare you see a plea where it's like, we well, need to tell what everybody else did. Have you, you know, did these guys commit crimes? You know, did, did the other guys commit crimes? Yes. I, you know, I had no idea what was going on. I, un, I was unaware that my finances was financing a criminal enterprise. That is the definition of snitching. Now, if if, if he would have copped a plea and this plea would have been, you know what? I did these things. Maybe this rapper I punched on. Maybe this rapper I took his chain. Maybe this rapper, blah, blah, blah. You know, hey, y'all gonna give me 10 years, uh, suspend, you know, uh, 10 years sentence, two years time served, eight years suspended, probation, whatever. This is what I did. This shit was crazy because this is the first time I watched somebody take a plea by saying, making statements on everybody else except himself. That shit was crazy. I mean, you would have thought he was a choir boy. 
like, well, you know, when you was in the car, you're saying these are not your drugs. Wait a minute. You watch the other guys from, you know, from YSL commit crimes and such and such, so and so. Yes, ma'am. You know, you you unawarely furthered YSL the game, which with your success, and you agree that YSL needs to be stopped. Yes, man. That's telling. There's no way around it. I heard Uncle Murder. I, I, I didn't hear the rap up, but I heard him say, you need to wait. No, you don't. I heard Char Charlamagne say, gee, you need to wait. No, you don't. That's telling. There's no way possible to say, hey, just go admit that I did these things because you're going to struggle to beat them in court. Now. The whole defense on the RICO case is it's a record label, not a gang. That's the whole defense. It's a racketeering, corrupt organization, right? So that's like, we're not a gang, we're a record label. And your pleas, your statements is, they are they are a gang. Not we are a gang. <laughs> not we are a gang. Those guys, yeah, those guys, yep, it wasn't my drugs in the car with me and Young Thug. Yo, though I did not know what they was doing with the money. Like, oh, that's telling. You don't have to wait. That's snitching because he presents himself as a crip. He presents himself as a thug and he bangs crip. He actually brings neighborhood crip. That is off limits. If he just played out on his own shit, fine, man, get out. You know, plea out on your own shit. Even that's kind of can be crafty on a group case. You know what I mean? But at least you didn't dishonor yourself. You're like, look, I took a deal. I told him what I did. I don't know what they did. I, this is what I did. Mm. And he didn't do that. He was like, no, it was them niggas. Them, right? All those guys. Not me. That was like crazy. And to watch people argue it like, well, I don't know. I'm like, nigga, that's telling. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, you know, they're, they're calling him Gunnatello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so rare to me that, you know, your derogatory, anybody's derogatory nickname is a quadruple entendre. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a quadruple entendre. I feel really, so, it's crazy really. as I feel so bad for Thug, man. Like, you know, you he made that dude a multi-millionaire. He repays you by telling him. Mm. You know, it, it's, it's crazy to me because People use the culture of this underworld life, right? It's, it's a complete lingo. It's a complete get down. It's, a, it's behavior, everything. And they use it to advance their own personal agendas. And when it's time to be accountable for the advancement that you receive, it's like, what? no, that's I'm not that. That's I'm just acting. You know what I'm saying? And then people's like, nah, you, you, you told. And he, it's crazy to me because he put out the statement. He was like, oh. Yeah, I put out the statement. He was like, before he knew people would see the allocution video because somebody recorded it, you know, when they wasn't supposed to. That's why I had this weird angle. He's like, I didn't make no statements. And the first thing you see is a video of this motherfucker making a statement. That was just unbelievable. That's God. Mm. That's God. God, like, I go through all this to get you out of trouble. And you still trying to play the role. I got something for your ass. Mm. How do you think Thug is going to, you think... Thug has a, a shot here. Does it? It's not looking good. Every statement that everybody allocated with are the things that they're charging him with. Mm. So no, it's fucked. I mean, God exists, but you know, not really. No. <laughs>